Hello, I'm Will Gasson. I'm a land agency in the Banbury office and I'm here today talking to Tom Burks, who's a partner in our land agency department about the land market and land values. Tom, can you tell us who the main buyers are in the market and what they're looking for? Yeah, thank you, Will. Um, so the main buyers in the market at the moment um, are mainly um, people, or sometimes farmers, uh, but usually with a, a non-agricultural income, um, mainly development land where they're looking to take advantage of rollover relief. Um, uh, other buyers in the in the market would be investors uh, who are, again, you know, kind of sold businesses uh, all done well in the city and want to to move out and take advantage of the tax relief of running uh, oh, sorry of of owning agricultural land um, mainly these bars are looking for arable land that they can run on a contract farming agreement or, or an FBT um, in some way however in other areas of the country um, there are obviously there is areas where where um, livestock farming is more predominant uh, and therefore grassland is also selling well. OK, and um, what's the range of land values like at the moment? It's quite a hard question that in the basis that it, it, it's extreme at both ends. Um, I suppose the core land values are anywhere from six and a half to 14, 15,000 pounds an acre. Um, there will be transactions out there that have been carried out uh, last year lower than that. And, and there will be some in extreme cases where they have where land has traded for, for more than that. Um, definitely a uh, you know all affected by supply and demand uh, and competition within that area. So what's going to happen in the next 12 months then? Are you going to see these land values rise or fall? Um, very much depends I think on the budget uh, and how and if uh, tax and the way that agricultural land is treated um, for, from a tax perspective, um, if there are major changes in that, that may affect value. Um, however, there's no other than that, there doesn't seem to be any specific reasons why the agricultural land market should should um, sharply rise or decrease um, going forward over the next 12 months. It, we're, we're expecting it to be similar um, uh, as we've seen in the last 12 months. OK, so lots to think about for sellers there then. So what can Brown & Co do to help people think of selling? Well, generally, as agents, we, we're trying to achieve the highest value for that for that client. Uh, they only get to sell it once and therefore we want to sell it well for them. Um, and they're our best advert for for going forwards. Um, so we want to make sure that they they have a they, that the land sells well and we um, and we uh, we do a good job for them. Um, the way we do that initially kind of thing you know we look at the tax mitigation um to see whether there's any um strategies that we can put in place to to mitigate their the, you know, the tax payable on sale um it, it's uh, it's always a good thing to try and save a bit of tax um if it's uh, if we can change the circumstances to allow that um and, and you know and that, and that's something we'd work closely with the accountant the solicitor to to, to feed in some values um to that to enable them to to enter the sale process with it with our eyes wide open um we'd also look you know we we, we work locally uh we we're you know agents that that cover the country but we know where the local markets are and what the local markets are within that area um and and therefore by knowing the value we know where we need to get to uh and part of that is making sure that we're putting the right product to the right people um selling selling the seeing the seeing the underlying value and trying to make sure that that's marketed to the correct people that will see its value in that um and also more importantly this th at this moment um is the 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 problems that can come out during the legal process uh problems with title or access uh, and therefore having sold a lot of agricultural land we know what those problems are we know how to get around them, how to solve them, uh, and we work closely with the legal team um, to, you know, with the client's legal team, uh, their solicitor, to, to ensure that we are um, making sure that that sale proceeds um, in the best and the most efficient way we can. That's great. So making things easy for the seller from start to finish. Um, thanks for your time today, Tom, and thanks for talking to us. Brilliant. Thank you.